Hey guys, Little Kecko Airsoft here. Today I'm back with another video. It's definitely something different again. Hopefully we'll get back to Airsoft soon, but for now we're just gonna be do doing different things. There's only a few le weeks left in school, so pretty quick uh, we'll get back into Airsoft. Now uh, this video is actually my first video um, where I wrote a script. I'm not, I'm not, this isn't scripted right here right now, but after the intro I'll, I typed out a script and um, so yeah, so hopefully I'll be, be, be better at uh, staying on top topic. So uh, tell me if you guys think that um, you like that better or you like my random rambling about <laughs> random stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is a, my video. Um, uh, we're actually doing a computer build today. We're not physically building one, but I'm just showing you the parts that I put together for uh, for my dad's uh, work. He, he, my dad actually like hired me to build a computer for the purpose of video editing for his comp or not his company but for the company he works for and so um, so yeah I just did that for him and I figured might as well film a little bit and uh, just do a video on building a gaming slash video editing computer so I hope you guys enjoy the video if you liked it please comment right and subscribe and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started so let's start off with the processor the CPU we're using for this build is the AMD FX8320. It runs at 3.5 GHz and has 8 cores. I've looked at multiple benchmarks for this processor and you can too, and what you'll find is that it's not quite as good, but it can definitely compete with Intel's Core i7 for the price. With the multiple cores that it has, you can render videos much quicker in video editing, and that's definitely what we want uh, for a video editing computer. Now, I would recommend this CPU for someone who's on a tighter budget. If you have the money, you could go Intel, but I tend um, to just stay, stick with AMD because that's more in my personal price range. Now, having an AMD processor, they have, uh, much, they have a much greater power consumption, so they run a lot hotter. You could just use the stock cooler, but we wanted to make sure that we get the job done. So the CPU cooler we're using today is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. It has a very large heat sink and fan and is, is plenty to get the job done. The motherboard in this build is the Asus 970 Pro Gaming Aura. We bought all of our hardware um, at a local computer supply store. So, uh, and they have deals to get um, free or reduced cost motherboards. We paid only forty to fifty dollars. I don't remember exactly for this motherboard, opposed to the regular one hundred and twenty. The motherboard has a capability for crossfire, which means you can run dual graphics cards, which is very cool. It's a very nice motherboard, but we probably wouldn't have purchased it if we did not get that reduced price. The RAM we're using is the EVGA Super SE DDR3 RAM. Uh, we're throwing in two 4 gigabyte sticks for a total of 8 gigs, but you might want to put in more RAM depending on what you're using the computer for. The Asus R7 370 is the graphics card we're using today. With 4 gigabytes of memory and a core clock speed of 1050 megahertz, this, clock is, this card is good for what we need. The card will get 56 frames per second in Bioshock Infinite and a score of 5468 in 3D Mark Firestrike. Now for a hard drive, we're actually going to be using an SSD. It's a crucial 180 gigabyte SSD. Because the computer will only be used for video editing, and all the videos will be taken somewhere else after they're complete, uh, we'll be using an external hard drive. I would recommend for, uh, depending on the use of your computer, if you're gaming, I would recommend to get the SSD to boot your operating system, but to also get a Western Digital or brand of your choice, um, terabyte hard drive. For power, we'll be using an EVGA 500 watt power supply. It has an 80 plus rating and is more than enough power than what we need for this build. Now it's okay if you want to go bigger and um, within power if you think about upgrading in the future, maybe utilizing that crossfire feature on the motherboard in, uh, in the future, but for us we didn't see that being necessary as of now, so we're just going to stick with the 500 watts. For the case, I'm not actually entirely sure what this case is. Um, I never asked my dad, I just installed it. Um, but I think cases are more personal preference, so you can just choose a case um, that what you like, but I would personally recommend not spending below $45 because you want to make sure you still have a good quality case. 
Now there are a few other things that you're going to want, like an operating system or an optical drive. So for this build, we chose uh, Windows 10, which is $100, and we just chose a $20 optical drive. Uh, it's actually rewritable that we found at the local store. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, please comment if you like the computer thing um, or if you would like me to just stick to Airsoft. Anyways, be sure to tell all your friends about my channel and get the word out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to watch my computer build, click this video here. If you would like to watch my unboxing of the lighting equipment, click the video right here. Now if you want to add me on Snapchat, go ahead and uh, my username is right there, Little Pickle Airsoft. If you would like to get one of these shirts, just contact me and we can work out a deal for you. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.